It's Friday evening. Welcome to The Nine. Tonight on the programme, a week after the killing of journalist Lyra McKee, the outrage following her death provides an impetus for new talks in Northern Ireland. Hello there. I'm John Beattie. Welcome to the programme. For the next hour, we'll have all your news from across the world. While Amy Arons and Nick Sheridan are here with all your weekend sport and entertainment news. Thank you very much, Laura. It's a huge... One week on from the killing of Lyra McKee that caused such widespread outrage, police in Northern Ireland have released new footage of the man suspected of being responsible. The 29-year-old journalist was shot dead while observing a riot in the Cregan area of Londonderry last Thursday night. Now, the First Minister said this week that she wants a new independence referendum if Brexit goes ahead within the next two years. But speaking to the BBC today, Nicola Sturgeon's refused to rule out seeking another vote, even in the event Brexit doesn't happen. She was talking to our political editor, Brian Taylor, who asked the First Minister, would she call off Ref 2 if there's no Brexit? Into this weekend, among party members... What do you think her pitch will be? Well, and Nicola Sturgeon has laid out one scenario for Brexit, but what happens if Brexit doesn't happen or if there's a soft Brexit? Where does that leave the party then? OK, okay thank, Lindsay, you. thank you. Now, it's uh, almost quarter past the hour. You're watching The Nine. A reminder of tonight's main story. And Amy will be here later with all the sport. What have you got for us then? Well, it's all about the trophies tonight. So you might have seen before the Nine Star Championship with a 3 0 win over Queen of the South. So we'll see them lifting that championship trophy. And then we've got a big weekend of rugby as well Glasgow Warriors trophies. Thank you. Look forward to it. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Daft game time. rugby. <laughs> Now, uh, the brother. Pay they were due. Well, our reporter, Connor Gillies, is here. Connor, the staff of this firm have been in limbo for months. Where does today's development leave them? A very specific remit medical waste, um, body parts? Yes, yeah, waste. Okay, Connor, thank you. Now, the Liberal Democrats have lost of tonight's top stories. The River Clyde divides Glasgow geographically and in some places economically too. Govan's glory days of shipbuilding may be behind it, but plans by Glasgow University may see hundreds of jobs created there. It's revealed plans for a new campus uh, on the south bank of the Clyde, creating a hub for nanotechnology and precision medicine. Our innovation correspondent Laura Goodwin reports. Now, pupils at an Aberdeen school have become the first in Scotland to benefit from a scheme to make works of art like sculptures more relevant in their everyday lives. The Nine's Nazim Azel spent the day with the students of Ailey Hall Primary as they took a hands-on approach. That looks fun. It does. Uh, well, listen to this one. Yeah. Nisha Singh Bakker is only 16, but she already has her eyes on her dream job. She's tri striving to be Scotland's first female Sikh DJ. Yeah, now she's being supported by a, a new charity called Intercultural Youth Scotland. It's been set up to help mentor young people from black and ethnic minority backgrounds realise their ambitions. And we spent some time with Nisha to see how the project is already supporting her. Right. Um, would you agree to be filmed having sex? It's uh, quite a question. But in a new TV show, couples are invited to rig their houses with cameras and they have the most intimate moments scrutinised. They then get advice on the relationship problems for an expert therapist who's analysed the footage. Well, one of the couples who've taken it. Thank you. Um, Victoria, why? Well, my mother anyway, um, with yeah. Ryan, but yeah. What's it, what's it, I mean, the blunt question is, what's it like, you know, when you're in bed together? I know it was all under the duvet, there was no, no wobbly bits on view, but um, <laughs> what's, it like, what's it like being filmed and then you watch it back, don't you? What's that like? Well, for me, it was mortifying. What's I, does that mean? I'm, a, I'm a bit of a showman, so it didn't bother me at all. Yeah, right. But when we absolute Adonis in bed, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So I'm denying that the whole way. So I have to be out there, I'm Adonis. I mean, obviously, you know, there was a serious point to this. Yeah. You guys were having relationship problems. Yeah. Um, what, what did it br What did you learn? What did you learn, Brian? Well... Is it just I'm him doing <laughs> the learning? <laughs> it seems like it. Yeah, right. I was right. Well, uh, I'm, I'm we both... 
I'm saying like a women's place in the kitchen. I know it's a wee bit controversial, but have the dinner. Tonight, in sport, they call that video analysis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, I guess that one serious question too is why do it through a television program? You've been on television in other pro one, couldn't you? you didn't because of I, think, I think you learn more from the quite. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, how how long a periods are we talking here? Is it? And I guess what everyone wants to know is, was it a success? Is it, are you both a bit happier? Is he okay now? Or you know, is each there a, to their own. If you don't want to go on TV, then don't. But if, an, but you've got to rush away and watch it on what television. Do. Right, so thank you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> mum, dad, a lot, popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I could be smoke reviewing there. <laughs> now, I apologise to Victoria's dad. Yeah, oh, I, I hope he didn't watch well. it. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Well. What do we say after oh, that? I <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Amy. Thank you. Now, he's best known as the young Glasgow man. He has been slagging off uh, Kim and Kanye uh, for, for all terrible. sorts of reasons. It's crazy. Doesn't do the music no, sales any harm, though, does no, it really? Absolutely all this? not. <laughs> no, and, and we all out. <laughs> it's <laughs> you terrible. Tweeted, you tweeted <laughs> her earlier. Though, didn't, you didn't, like, come back to me. No. didn't come back to me. Kirstine, you were brilliant last week. What about this week? <laughs> not so good in terms of temperatures. I'm not like that here at all. Not at all. Well, the weather is looking fairly changeable. <laughs> now, Kathleen Robertson has been paralysed from the neck down since shortly after her diagnosis with MS 12 years ago. She can't remember the last time she was at the beach. It's a heartwarming story. Thanks to Obama the Pony, she and others can now do exactly that and more. Landwards Arlene Stewart went for a trip to the Aberdeen seaside with Kathleen. Yep, and you can see this week's Landward on the BBC iPlayer. It's also repeated on the BBC Scotland channel on Monday night at 7 o'clock. But that's it that's for it. tonight. Yeah, Fiona and Nick are here at 7 tomorrow with an hour of news, sport and a review of the past week. But from me and John, good night and enjoy the rest of your evening and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.